What is up, calisthenics people, handstand people? Today I'm going to be teaching you the handstand push-up. Now there's a lot of misconceptions that are going to hinder your progress and it's going to make you take way longer on your handstand push-up or way longer to achieve the handstand push-up than actually is necessary. So we're going to get those out of the way right now. Now the first misconception is that you have to have perfect form. I've seen so many other calisthenics channels or people talking about to learn the handstand push-up, you have to have completely perfect body alignment. This is not the case. Seriously guys, when you force yourself to have perfect form and tuck your elbows in, what that's going to do is it's going to make it way harder. You, it, that requires so much more strength than if you were to have a little bit of sloppy form and I'll explain that here in the future. But these people that tell you you have to have perfect form, I don't understand why they say this. You can't arch your back at all, that's, that's bull. That is honestly stupid because arching your back a little bit in a handstand is not going to injure your back. It can, but you can also injure your back bending over to pick up a book off of the floor. That weighs what, half a pound? There's always the possibility, but I don't see it as a super compromising position to put your back in. Now, the second misconception includes strength. And that would simply be that the expectation that you need to have like eight reps of handstand push-up against a wall with perfect form before you could ever execute one with full balance. Again, 100% not the case. When I learned my first handstand push-up, when I achieved my very first handstand push-up with full balance, I could maybe do like three handstand push-ups against the wall. And I still got the full handstand push-up. So now that we have the misconceptions out of the way, the first step is balance. You have to have really good handstand balance. I think you should be able to do a solid 20 second hold with good form, with perfect body alignment. Now, again, I said, you don't have to have perfect body alignment when you're doing the handstand push-up, but that's when you're actually doing the handstand push-up. You should have perfect body alignment. You should have a straight body throughout your handstand when you're doing your balancing. Now, again, work up to 20 seconds consistently because if you just do one 20 second hold, you might not be able to do that tomorrow. So you wanna be consistent with your handstand holds. This is so crucial. It's kind of obvious. It's like common sense, you know? How are you gonna do a handstand push-up when you can't even, you know, consecutively hold just a simple handstand? just doesn't really make sense. Now, just because your handstand balance might not be the best right now, doesn't mean you can't start, or you can't start training for the handstand push-up. So you can still train the strength right now, which I'm gonna get to as step two, but in the meantime, definitely always work on your handstand balance. All right, so now that we have the balance out of the way and you're training the balance consistently, now we gotta work on strength. So. First things first, you should be able to do, I'd say probably uh, 25 push-ups before you even attempt this stuff. So the first thing would simply be a pike push-up, which looks something like this. You're gonna assume the regular grip that you would, you know, while you're doing a handstand or a handstand push-up, and then you're gonna put your feet as close to your body as you can, just like this. And you're gonna really try and imi uh, imitate the handstand push-up form. So what you want to do with this, again I said you don't need perfect form with the handstand push-up, but when you're doing these, these strengthening exercises to build towards that, it's important that you do use perfect form. So with these, use perfect form, okay? So you're going to position yourself like this, go up like this, and then you're going to come down, press up. Just like that. Now these are not easy, they're still even hard for me, and I can do a handstand push-up. So, things you want to focus on is you actually, again, perfect form, like I said, with the strengthening exercises. So you want to keep your elbows tucked in, and you want to kind of protract your shoulders. So you don't want to have your shoulders back like this when you're pressing. You want to actually protract, and you don't want to do this kind of thing, you know, like that or you don't want to go like this, like a tricep extension. You want to imitate exactly how a handstand push-up would be. 
just like that. I'd say work up to a solid three sets of five reps before you start attempting the next move, which I'm gonna talk about now. So the next move you should be working on would simply be a full handstand push-up, but just the negative. Now this is going to be really beneficial because it's gonna allow you to actually practice balance through the movement while you're training strength because we know that negatives help build a lot of strength and they will help with the positive or the up. So what this would look like, something like this. Okay, see that was kind of sloppy. And you want to go as slow as you can on these. And again, try and do it with perfect form because that's going to build the most strength. Alrighty, now that we've got those things out of the way, the final thing I think you could train is handstand push-ups against the wall and or military press. I think adding weights to your strength training regimen towards the handstand push-up is going to drastically help you. What I would recommend is spend half of your days training the pike push-up, what I just showed you, and then half of your days doing lightweight, higher volume overhead presses with a barbell. If you don't have access to that, it's totally fine. You don't have to use that. That's just what I would recommend. Now you can also train up against the wall, do full handstand push-ups against the wall. But my opinion, I think it's more important to focus on your form and get really a lot better at the pike push-ups and military press. If you can do those two things, I think you're gonna be 100% set to get your handstand push-up. Now this move is gonna take a lot of time, might not take long for you, took long for me, or it might take longer for you. The point is to be patient. Strength training takes time, especially when there's balance included with that strength training. So that's all I've got. Hopefully this helps. And if you have any more questions, drop a comment down below. And please like the video, it really helps out. Support the channel. Peace.